Hi guys, it's Sally here from sallycatherine.com and today's video is going to be pretty quick. I just wanted to show you some of the items that I've been obsessing over lately. Uh, but I wanted to preface this first item by saying that if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, <laughs> then you've probably noticed that I rarely, if ever, would wear lip products. And I mean lipsticks, lip glosses, lip anything. I would rarely, rarely purchase or wear them. But I have been obsessed lately, absolutely obsessed with wearing lip color. And one of my new obsessions has been NYX. NYX has the most amazing lip products ever. They have a variety of different types of products and they can suit pretty much anybody. I personally love all of their lip products and these are the different types they have. They have a butter gloss, they have a soft matte lip cream, they have the black label lipsticks, they have the matte lipsticks, and then they have their regular round lipsticks. I'm telling you, these are amazing. And not only are they amazing products in the actual packaging, but I love the packaging of these things because they're easy to tell exactly what color is in each of these. All of them have some kind of indication of what the color is inside the packaging. So it makes it super easy when you're going through any of your cosmetics bags with all these different items. You can tell right away what color is in each of these. So I love that. If you want me to do a review of all these different types of NYX uh, lip products, please let me know because I'll do a more in-depth video because I just want to show you my three favorites right now. So I won't go into huge detail about these. But if you do want me to do a separate video, I definitely can because I've got a huge selection now of NYX products. If you're in Canada and you want to purchase NYX, I know that there's so few places in Canada where they sell these items. I honestly recommend cherryculture.com. They normally have some pretty big sales on special occasions like around Thanksgiving, um, around special holidays. So just keep an eye on that because shipping is you know more reasonable when you're paying less for the products. So yeah, that's my recommendation for all you Canadian girls out there. <laughs> okay, my next favorite item that I've been really enjoying is actually four items. It's a set of Kabuki brushes. Now, I know some of you are probably like, oh, these are Sigma brushes, but they're not. Um, I can't afford Sigma brushes. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Um, when I do spend money on things, I mean, I don't mind spending money on good quality products if I feel like the quality is worth the money. But in the case of cosmetics brushes, it ain't gonna happen. I'm not gonna spend $20 on a brush. I think that is absolutely ludicrous. I think you have more money than cents if you're spending that kind of money on things that you use to apply makeup. For me, it doesn't make sense unless you're a makeup artist and you're doing this for a living. It really doesn't make sense to spend that kind of money. So, I spent $20 for four brushes, which I think is a little bit more reasonable, especially considering the quality is really amazing. I've heard that they're um, a good dupe for Sigma brushes and I don't know because I don't own Sigma brushes but I can tell you that this set is amazing. It's by RC Cosmetics and I think that stands for Royal Care Cosmetics. They make amazing brushes. I have another set of, um, of just regular uh, a regular brush set for applying eyeshadows and makeup but these are just amazing. These are my favorite. So yeah, if you're looking for some good Kabuki brushes Definitely recommend RC Cosmetics brushes. Hands down, the best brush set I've ever had, um, I've ever owned. It is heads and tails above e.l.f. Uh, brushes and it was just a really good purchase for me. So yay, yay for Royal Care Cosmetics brushes. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Okay, and finally, the last item that I've been obsessed with lately. Um, I just got this recently, and it's a Conair Infinity Pro, and it basically is a hair dryer slash brush. Is that the best way to describe it? A hair dryer slash brush. Yeah, a spinning brush. And so basically what you do is you blow dry your hair with your regular blow dry just until it's almost completely dry. And then you finish it off with this blow dryer. And the bristles on this, I mean obviously this spins and the bristles are really, really, really soft and they kind of like smooth out the cuticle and smooth out your hair so that you have a really nice, shiny, voluminous finish. It's just amazing. and. I was a hairstylist for years and I still find it difficult to use a round brush and to blow dry my hair with a round brush. It's so much harder to do on myself than to do it on a client 
and I've always despised doing it on myself so I figured I would get something easy like this tool and hope for the best and let me say it has probably been one of the best purchases that I've ever spent money on so yeah I love this a lot <laughs> a lot a lot if only you knew how bad and how damaged my hair actually is you'd be in shock because the ends are almost like mushy that's how badly damaged they are and look how they look in in this video I mean my hair looks shiny and healthy and gorgeous and it's this it really is this it's this so get yourself this if you have damaged hair if you have hair that um, you like to straighten a lot it is better honestly to use this than to use a hair straightener because it's not using as much heat and yeah it just acts to really smooth the cuticle out with these bristles so yeah I get the same finish as I would if I used a flat iron on my hair but I'm not doing as much damage to my hair in the end and it looks the same if not better so hallelujah I love this thank you Thank you Conair, thank you very much for this because I love it. So um, if you're in Europe or in Australia, I think this is called the uh, Babilis or Babilis um, uh, hairspin or something like that. There's a different name for it. So just Google Conair Infinity and then you'll see the other version of this. If you want me to do my own video on how to use this bad boy, let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely do like a tutorial on using this product. So yeah, just let me know and I am willing to please. <laughs> so there you have it. These are my three items that I've been obsessing over uh, for the last little while. So let me know what you think. Like this video if you did. Favorite it so you can go back and see which items that you need to buy or put on your Christmas list this year because hells yeah, this stuff is awesome. <laughs> and of course, of course, subscribe for more videos because I make amazing videos. I'm just gonna say it, I'm just putting it out there. I have confidence in myself. I know what I can bring to the table. Yeah, you heard. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs>